so if we want to run if you if we want to uh, use uh, the high speed uh, run mode which is uh, configured with this register so this is also the same we select if you see the this one here so the, 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 this is this can be r or this can be h so we can mm, configure uh, the other uh, high speed uh, registers the same way uh, we did this one so for for in for example for this one we we see that we, we can configure what we have con just like this one we can configure here the clock dividers and then this uh, select this clock source this so this is selected as six here so we can use this one also here so these are the divider these are the same dividers which we see here so just this uh, first letter is different so this register is um, we can also uh, find in the uh, res reference manual these uh, all these registers for example this is the a code when we want to use this uh, uh, configure this uh, uh, and want to go from uh, run mode to high speed run mode so once we are once we have configured all this then we can go to uh, the high speed uh, run mode and the procedure is uh, this one it is also written here you have to do disable the pll and then configure uh, we cannot take the pll clock first we have to take this fast irc clock um, in the run mode and then um, we can go we can we can configure this these registers uh, with the uh, required values so it is done here for example we just we can disable uh, the uh, first the pll so this is this function here so these are uh, the, the same register we've, which we have seen uh, here this is the same register here so we can configure the clock source first as uh, the fast irc so we have to change the clock and then these are the dividers uh, which we can use uh, so so for example if we are using uh, 112 megahertz uh, want to use 112 megahertz uh, for the pll so we can configure uh, this score as uh, uh, zero so we get uh, no division and when we then we will get uh, and the full 112 megahertz clock uh, for the core for example you can see here uh, these two values if we we can the maximum value for the core and the system clock is 112 megahertz so if we are going to select uh, if we select uh, the pll at 112 megahertz then we have to use uh, we can um, here use zero so that we can uh, get the full 112 megahertz uh, for the core so this is uh, the procedure so this is uh, the clock is here changed these are the again the, the same dividers and then here is this high speed register so it is the same as this one so we can here select the clock source and here again uh, the dividers uh, the same one just this subscript is uh, this first letter is different and then here the PLL is uh, disabled so we can disable it at the top also but uh, it is uh, disabled here so this is again this uh, uh, register where we can disable so these are these uh, pins so clock monitor we have to disable so this lcm and then this one is the pll enable clock so we can disable we have to disable this one and this one 
this is what this is uh, this register here so we have to we can disable here the PLN so once we have configured these two registers we have selected this clock for the both we have disabled PLL and then we can go to the high speed run mode with this register so this register we can see here this is this register uh, uh, this no this is, is uh, yeah this is this register here so PM um, PROT so this is this one high speed uh, run is allowed so this, this is the first step we go uh, we allow the house high speed run mode with um, this register this bit and then we can we have to check that whether we have we are in which mode we are so we normally go from run mode to the high speed uh, run mode so we check that uh, in which mode we are so here we can see that this is the status register this we can see here stat so here we can see it tells us thus um, uh, the mode so here we can see current uh, if we are, have one so we have we are in run mode so here we check that whether we are in run mode or not and then uh, with this um, register uh, we go to the high speed run mode so we can see this register this is the control register here so this is the control register and this is this one so we can see that this is the CTRL and here it is here is the value in the run is 3 so we can see here so when we go we gave a 3 run M this bit so we go to the high speed run mode so this is what here done and then when here we can then wait whether we are in high speed run mode or not so this is again and this uh, status register which uh, we have uh, seen so this is again this register so now if we are in high speed run mode this register we can read this 8 and 0 so we wait until we go into this uh, high speed run mode so one, once uh, we are this bit is uh, once we get this value then we can enable the PLL once again so this is the same procedure which is um, shown here so you can again uh, uh, enable the PLL which is this bit here so with these uh, enable pin and here we can also see here uh, here some uh, for example here we have disabled uh, PLL so we can use the same uh, register and same bits uh, to uh, in this function and then we will uh, and then the PLL will be enabled so this is uh, the procedure to um, uh, to go into the high speed uh, run mode so we can now see how we can do it in here here we can also uh, do it uh, from here when you see there is an example here you can see this power mode example so we can see this example when we go to main here we can see that this is the clock configuration uh, at the start of uh, the main so we, we are in normal run mode so we use these two commands and then uh, uh, our clocks are configured once our clocks uh, are configured then we can mm, configure our mm, GPIO pins 
uh, and then this is the command power management power system initialization so this is the command which we have to use so this shows these six modes so we can use then this command to go into the high speed run mode so first we give this one and then uh, we can initialize our other things and then here you can see you can then set mode so we can then go into the run mode just by executing this command so once uh, we give this command we will go into run board so it is easy when we use uh, this these uh, driver commands so no, this is the normal run board and just give this command and then we go directly into the run mode with this command so this is also another way to go into um, the high speed uh, run mode or we can use this procedure or this procedure so um, this is our uh, 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 this, so we can do what we like uh, we can use this easy way or uh, with uh, these commands these four command one two three and four so this these are uh, the options which we can use so this is uh, actually all uh, what uh, i want to show so i wanted to show so these are all this is the this is the same rccr register uh, which we have configured here we have given this value pll clock these are the registers and then you can also see this rccr register rccr register so this is this one so this is for the high speed mode uh, everything is to be configured here uh, uh, when we you know, uh, want to go from run mode to um, high speed mode high speed mode is uh, normally used when we want to run uh, for example um, our pwm module or something else at uh, very high speed then we can also use this one or we can also uh, use uh, the same mode uh, the normal mode and uh, do some and change some dividers uh, uh, here and then we can use uh, this uh, bus clock uh, for, for our um, PWM module uh, for example if we do here the division of one uh, and then we, we can use here uh, P, we can configure here uh, P, uh, PLL for for example the, the, the PWM module can work up to 112 megahertz so we can um, take um, produce this clock uh, at 112 megahertz and then we can use uh, one divider here we can go this the same clock to, to this part and then bring this clock here and then use this bus clock uh, for the pwm uh, module so we can use then uh, the pwm module at maximum frequency uh, just with uh, uh, the normal run mode so if, if it is required then we have to adopt the uh, procedure and disable uh, if you want to go into the high speed run mode then we have to disable this part and then give the clock from here and then enable this these registers mid h uh, here and h here and then uh, once uh, we are uh, complete with this portion then we have to use this uh, the other commands uh, the, this uh, these uh, which of these registers so yeah this one these registers here so this is actually present in in this part of uh, the reference manual so this is actually mode here you can system control more uh, uh, 
uh, mode controller so here we can find these registers then we can go into the high speed uh, run mode once uh, these registers are configured for the uh, high speed mode then we can again enable this um, uh, PLL and then we will get uh, fast clocks at uh, this point. 